We begin our second half hour with an out of this world opportunity for an Arizona researcher. A planetary scientist at NAU has been picked to help lead a mission to the two moons of Mars. Team 12's Joe Dana explains what that scientist hopes to learn and why the red planet's moons could unlock some of the mysteries of the universe. Mars remains a fascinating playground for scientists who have sent five rovers there. What we don't have yet are samples from Mars or its moons. The plan is to bring some back to Earth. But the things that I think are really cool about rocks are the stories that they tell. Even stories 200 million miles away. What minerals are in these rocks tell us a lot about what the conditions were like a really long time ago. So millions billions of years ago. Christopher Edwards oversees planetary surface investigations at NAU. Thanks to a NASA award, Edwards and his students will join an international team sending an unmanned spacecraft to orbit Mars, then land on its potato-shaped moon, Phobos, where it will collect samples and bring them to Earth. Mars provides us this uh, window into early planetary evolution that we just don't have on Earth. The goal, learn whether the two moons orbiting Mars are captured asteroids or pieces of Mars to better understand how moons influence planets and to map a history of water on Mars. All of these things kind of play together and help us understand you know, where life arose in our solar system and where life might be able to arise in other solar systems. In scientific circles, Mars is all the rage. The Perseverance rover recently discovered the clearest evidence yet of an ancient lake. It also explored a river delta that formed billions of years ago. So this rock is actually from Arizona. Details of our own planet's story may also lie out there. This green material is olivine, and we see this all over the surface of Mars. From Flagstaff to Phobos, an interstellar research project awaits. This is a six-year grant. Now, the spacecraft won't launch for about a year and a half. Edwards and his students will help researchers both in the U.S. and in Japan develop the mission's goals and find just the right landing spot on the moon Phobos. No pressure. Joe Dana, 12 News.